Now to a story on mental health and addiction. Professional firefighters are developing post-traumatic stress disorder almost as often as soldiers who've been in combat. And the only facility in the country treating mental illness and substance abuse exclusively in first responders is in Maryland. You say it's Hannah McDonald went there to see what's working. I didn't talk to anybody about them. For 27 years, firefighter Eric Fessenden didn't tell anyone how what he saw on fire calls affected him. I just tried to avoid those images. He says firefighters were actually told not to talk. Suck it up, buttercup, or put your big girl panties on, or if you have feelings, you need to leave them at the door. Eric stayed quiet, despite being haunted by a crash that killed a mother and three of her children. If I saw that car, I would, the next time I blinked, I would see the whole accident scene. One in five firefighters develops post-traumatic stress disorder like Eric. There's a lot of grief. Um, a lot of guilt that firefighters take on with them with outcomes of, of, of their day-to-day -day work. This year, a rehab and recovery center for professional firefighters opened about 30 miles from Washington, D.C. One of my best friends. Eric spent four weeks there working with doctors. I didn't even know some of the other issues I had or what they were called. That's an interesting question. Abby Morris is the medical director at the center. She specializes in PTSD and addiction. She says firefighters will ask doctors to refill prescriptions from past surgeries, then misuse them. I think that they trust firefighters and they want to help the helpers um, and they don't realize that that's become an issue. The IAFF Center of Excellence is designed with firefighters in mind. They can have free weights. There's an emphasis on exercise. Many firefighters return to work if they're successful. I'll, I'll give credit to the program, obviously, but because of the other firefighters, I, and they say it saved my life. He says the fire service needs to overhaul how they deal with PTSD and addiction. Forcing the, the system to understand that it's, we are humans and we're allowed to stay humans. Hannah McDonald, News 8. The treatment center we visited only accepts professional firefighters. Doctors say volunteer firefighters are facing the same problems, but they don't have the same support services available. They hope that changes.